Now, setting a custom white balance is what I want to talk about today. So I've got my delightful uh, $1.50 white balance cards, but they do the trick. I bought a few of these and it's better than uh, lurching around for pieces of paper uh, when you're trying to set a custom white balance. So one feature about this camcorder I really like is there's this little switch here for toggling between automatic and manual. And it's located just to the left of the zoom rocker on the body of the camcorder. There's also a zoom rocker on the top body, the top handle just next to the second record button, but uh, the main one is here. And that little slider is just to the left, so it's self-explanatory, auto is auto, uh, M is manual. So if I go ahead now and turn on the camera. So auto is not gonna give you this option. Uh, so auto is just for like when you're ready to, you know, just kind of shoot um, and have the camera do all the work. So I don't get that option now. If I click on function, there's no uh, white balance option, you only got your zoom settings and you've got your very, very important uh, mic settings for manually configuring an audio level or leaving it run on auto. I always use manual for external microphones. Um, so what we want to do is you want to flip this dude over to manual and then you get this brief menu message. Now you can also just have the camcorder. So it's a hard switch. And the difference is when I click on function now, boom, you've got all your options there. You've got your gain, your exposure. So I think it's brilliant design from Canon that if you just want to shoot, it's all in a hardware switch. You want to just have the camera do everything, flip up to your auto. You want to control stuff yourself, go down to manual. So now we just need to find white balance. It's the white balance logo. It's pretty standard. And you can choose between automatic white balance and then presets like daylight, tungsten, color temperature. So this is great. You can actually choose a specific Kelvin temperature for your color temperature. Uh, or you can do custom white balance. So the way this guy works is I'm gonna, you take your white card and then you wanna hit the custom white balance button. So it's gonna be really hard to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna attempt to. So this won't be perfect because, you know, there was a bit of a jump there. And you wanna get it so that it's all white encapsulated in the box and you don't have a shadow. So as you can see, this is not a real demo and this is not a really good demonstration, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of how the process is intended to work. And then you can reset it. So it actually perpetuates the setting through a reboot. So if you change lighting environment and you need to reset it, you wanna go through this process again and it reads out the white balance it's detected. So now it's 2,780 Kelvin. Let's see if there's a way to make this stand on my desk. Ugh, it's not really gonna work. So I'm just gonna try to do this again, just to show you. So it's reading, reading, reading. When it's flashing, it's reading. And now you can see it's jumped up to 2,820 Kelvin. So I like that feature. It lets you know uh, that it's set to white balance. And now we can go shooting, and the camera is uh, using a white balance of 2,820 Kelvin. Or I can jump back to automatic by clicking on automatic. So that's how you set a custom white balance on the Canon. XA40 uh, professional camcorder. Hope that was useful. If you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.